Greetings as everybody out in internet land. This is Woos the Collector, and this is the Collectors, Geeks, and Freaks show episode 22. Well, here we are in November hell. Up here in New England, it should be snowing outside, but no, people are outside in their shorts and their flip-flops because it's like Florida weather. Don't get me wrong, I love it, but it's probably a pre-course for the oncoming zombie apocalypse, or there's an asteroid coming too close to Earth that's going to smash into us, and Armageddon's going to break loose. Because it's usually not this warm in November. But, right off, we went to a uh, double feature Saturday, like I promised last week. Went to see two movies. We saw Pray for the Devil, which has been out in theaters for about two weeks. And we saw Smile. That's been out since the beginning of October. Um, I was looking forward to both of these. Um, I didn't expect great, so I didn't get great. But that's okay. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Luckily, when I bought the tickets, I didn't even know. The, uh, both movies in the same theater and the same seats. So we didn't even have to move. And there was only 45 minute in between um, the movie. So, but we first saw Pray for the Devil. I was looking forward to this because it, 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 it brings me back to um, The Exorcism. The Exorcism. The Exorcist. One of the scariest movies I saw when I was a kid. Um, and something about exorcisms and demons um, interests me. I am no way a, rel a religious person, but that interests me. I don't know why. But it does. Um, the premise of the story is a nun who grew up um, in an abusive parent, went off, um, had some troubles as a youth, and landed up as a nun. And lands up in this uh, school of exorcism in Boston, which I'm not even sure it really exists. I know the Vatican has something, but I don't know if they're all over the countries or what. Um, but it'd be pretty cool. And the way they... Um, built up the movie and the the school it it was pretty cool i i i really wanted more from this but it, it didn't deliver um it had a couple moments it had one moment that i didn't see coming which i was surprised but to me this wasn't a scary movie um it takes a lot for a scary movie nowadays um because everything's so outplayed but to me not a scary movie couple jumps here and there um the story was okay it could have been better, um, and I hated the ending, um, just like that. Uh, if my choice was, I would probably just watch this on, on demand or something like that. I, I wouldn't have paid for it, which I didn't because I had my free tickets from Cinemark, and I had a Fandango gift card from last Christmas. So these two movies didn't cost me anything. Um, just snacks at the, uh, the theater and 25% off with your Cinemark rewards. Um card because I'm platinum member and that's why I'm trying to see so many movies before the end of the year. I think I got um 10 more to go. Um Black Panther's coming up, um a couple other things I saw out there. So hopefully I can get um in the enough movies before the end of the year and keep my platinum status for that 25% discount. Um extra free tickets, um unlimited ten dollar tickets so you can bring family or friends. So that's pretty cool. Um so that's why we saw the two movies. And Pray for the Devil, we weren't too, me and Lady Woos weren't too thrilled on. Um, then we saw Smile next. Um, I recognized uh, some of the cast, and then some of them I did, didn't. The lead, I didn't recognize her, and I didn't really care for her. Um, they, they're they not big name actors, but you've seen them, these actors before. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know the names off the top of my head. But the Smile movie itself... I'm pretty sure I scared half the audience when I laughed out loud when they're at the birthday party and he opens his aunt's gift. I, I'm just sick and demented like that. If you see the movie, you'll see why. Um, there was a, there, That was kind of, I saw it coming, and it just made me chuckle <laughs> out loud. Um, it did end with a, um, where it could go into a sequel, which I would like to see with the person who it ended with. That would be cool. It overall, not a scary movie. Some jump points. More creepy than scary. This one was Woos worthy. I'm glad we saw it in the theaters. It was it was different. Um, pray for the devil. Wait for on demand. Smile if you get a chance and you want to see it in the movies. If not, it'll be fine on demand or rent it. Um, 
I would say Smile was the best one out of our double feature Saturday. And creepy, not scary. Check it out. All right, guys. So after that, um, I've got some deliveries that came in this week. We're going to go through those. Uh, first ones I'm going to open are the Best Buy ones. Best Buy had a NECA figure that I've been waiting for on clearance that I got for $22. 22 or pretty damn close to 20 bucks. Um, and a couple of McFarlane figures, which they've been always putting those on sale, but these were Black Friday early deals. So I picked up those two. And of course, let's see how they shipped them. Bubble wrap packages again. Come on, Best Buy. You don't ship collectible rules. And yes, I know everybody. I could get them shipped to store and I wouldn't have to worry about this. But the big blam sticker right up that they stick on it with your information. Um, but the whole point of when I buy online, I get the best sales and I'm looking for free shipping. Free shipping so I don't have to leave my house and deal with the zombie apocalypse as it is out there. Or the asteroid that's going to come down and destroy us because it's so hot in November. But enough of that. Let's open this guy up. No perforated edges. Like I said, always careful opening the bubble wraps. You don't want to damage your package. This one is the NECA figure I, I just told you about. So, oh, I got it tight in there. This is from the first Halloween movie, Ultramet Laurie Strobe. I picked this one up for $21.99 on clearance. Um, $29.99 usually. Um, box looks cool, but she is such a cool figure. It looks just like Jamie Lee. And this is from Halloween, the, the, uh, the, the new uh, trilogy. And she's pretty damn cool. So I picked her up, Best Buy, on clearance, still on clearance at Best Buy, um, for coming in a bubble wrap. It's got the little dings that you would find, normal sh uh, shelfware, I would say. So I will be keeping that one. Best Buy again. Come on. This one's a little loose. Um, oh, I'm going to tell you a little story while I open stuff. So most of these packages came on Tuesday. Tuesday up here it was raining. Um, of course I had work. This is Green Arrow. Stupid Best Buy sticker. His box and everything looks okay. Green Arrow from um, Injustice to the video game. He was $11.99. Newer figure too, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, Tuesday we got I got three three deliveries. UPS um, Amazon and FedEx. I'm going to post some videos on my page sometime at the point of this week, show you what the, uh, Amazon guy did. We'll start with him first. Um, I rushed. Well, no, we can't start with, we'll start with UPS. UPS was Amazon. Um, it was Amazon pharmacy just because I'm old and I need pills apparently. So, so I'm not that crazy. Um, uh, he left it right outside the garage door. You wouldn't even see it with all the leaves on the ground, but I saw him. I wasn't too concerned with that one. I saw some rain coming in. I said, oh, you know what? I I'll leave it. It's, it's pills, it's in a bag, okay. Then my second delivery for the day was FedEx. And she was one of these. It was a lady. She comes up on my side deck, opens up my deck box, puts it in there, attempts to take the picture, changes her mind that she doesn't want to leave it there, Puts it in a plastic bag outside my door and leaves it in the rain. Come on. You had it in the box. What the hell? She must have been afraid to take the picture in the box or some shit. I don't know. But it was just irked me. So I race home um, to get my packages so they don't get rained on. And then we had uh, Amazon deliver. I had already left the house almost back to work. Work for me is only five minutes from the house. Um, I hear my phone go off with the ring because I have cameras all around my house because I am that paranoid. You never know where the zombies might come. You know, you need the alerts going on. So, or the creatures that come out at night and try to eat you. Yeah, I want to catch them on film. 
Um, but yeah, the the, uh, the the ring alarm went off. I saw it was this guy. I watched him. He saw the sign on my door, which asked to put packages in the brown box. He proceeded to put the packages on the box. Now, one of the packages, yes, was too big, but he could at least put the two smaller ones on. I will post these videos later and photos that I have of these guys. And um, just because it, it's amusing, I, I don't understand. I don't understand people. I think I might have to play a game and maybe hide a gift card in the um, the boxes and tell them, if you put the package in the box, there's a surprise for you. Something. I always hook up my mail lady. She's great. Saw her Saturday, too. She's a lovely woman. She always puts it in the box. Always a smile on her face. Very nice lady. All right. Another McFarlane. J-Hook is Kong, which, eh, not too bad, but that's Lex Luthor in the power suit. Um, I'll keep it, even though the J-Hook, not that bad. And for eleven ninety nine, the things and that aren't aren't that bad for him. So, like I said, I love the McFarlane figures. I wish he would pick up the like he had the movie Maniacs back in the nineties. Those were one of the best line of figures ever. All right, this one here is Amazon. I believe if you watched last episode, I got an Oswald Copper Pop, um, pop from the Batman movie. It was smashed. Um, I paid three bucks for it, but I didn't want it all smashed. Well, anyway, I went and did the return. They sent me a new pop and let me keep the old one. Okay. Just because it was so cheap, it was probably not worth it for them to have me bring it to Kohl's to ship it back to them. All right. So he came in the plastic again. A little bubble wrap in there. Let's see if this guy, he's not the chase, so they didn't send me a chase. I'm in a little bag here. Doesn't look all banged up like the other one. Yeah, he's pretty good shape. He was three bucks and change. Best character in the movie. I mean, Colin Farrell is unrecognizable as the Penguin in the Batman. Looking forward to the series that's coming out on HBO Max as well. This is another pre order from Amazon. Not much packing. This is one of my first buying one of these guys. I'll show you where he is because you've probably never seen him open. You open him uh, in my hunting. Bring him out. No packing whatsoever. He's tight in there. But this is a uh, exclusive uh, PX preview exclusive Venom. He's really cool looking. No damage on the front. A uh, little fold up top, but not. Uh, I'll keep it. That's nothing. This one was nineteen ninety nine, but I had to get this just because he glows in the dark and the slime. That is so awesome. He nineteen ninety nine ordered him. He's got the lethal protector comic in there. I don't know if it's the actual comic or uh, well, if it is a comic, it's a reprint. But I do have lethal protector, all six of those issues down. In the Woos Caves. Below the Woos Dead. Um, so we got Venom. Pretty happy with that. Eh, a little, little. Bother me a little. But that's alright. It's it's still not worth sending back. I'm getting used to. Um, minor flaws here and there. Uh, Shop Disney. Disney had. Uh, uh, I posted it on my Facebook page. It was Chewbacca Life Day exclusive. You can only get him at uh, Shop Disney. And then um, I signed up to get notifications on my phone. Got free shipping. So I got him in another exclusive, which I've never bought one of these either. Um, it's a droid, droid factory exclusive. You can usually only find them in the Disney stores or at Disney actually. So let's see how this, uh, my first package from Disney. Uh, they got all kinds of little Disney wrapping paper in there. Okay, so we got BT, B2 EMO from Andor. He's a droid series figure. You can usually only find these guys over in um, Disney World or Disneyland or in a Disney store. 
So I picked up him. He's an exclusive. Uh, it's twelve ninety nine, so that's not bad for the small figure. And then, wow, that is such a big box. This is the guy I want. It looks so cool. It's a flocked Chewbacca from Life Day, and this is a Disney exclusive. You could only get it online, I believe. Or I don't know if they're selling them in the stores, but I had to pick him up. Uh, I was really disappointed in this price, though. I, I was on the fence about it. Nineteen ninety nine for an exclusive from Disney. That, that's you know Disney, you rob everybody with your tickets when you sell tickets to the parks and everything else you sell. Come on, this, this for a pop nineteen ninety nine for an exclusive pop Disney. It's too much. It's not one of the bigger pops or anything like that, which I could understand. This is a normal size pop. Disney, calm down. You're raking in enough money. You're getting enough money from the world, all right? Ease off a little. All right, guys. That's enough of me babbling on for the, the day. I'm going to let you guys go. And next week, we will talk uh, Black Panda. Black, Black Panda. Jesus Christ, what the heck is wrong with me? Sorry with the JC. Um, <laughs> Black Panda, Wakanda forever. Let you guys know what I think of it. Not going in with high hopes just because I don't like Namor already. Just from the preview. So I'll let you know what I think about it next week. Uh, you guys all stay safe. Hopefully the asteroid won't fall out on us and you don't get eaten by any zombies. Other than that, we'll see you next week. This is Woos the Collector signing off.